future Labour government would guarantee a maximum wait of no more than one week for cancer tests and results to improve treatment of the killer disease suffered by a third of the population, Ed Miliband has announced. The Labour leader said that he would spend £750 million over five years to 2020 from a new levy on tobacco firms on new equipment and extra medical staff to ensure that Britain can match the best cancer survival rates in Europe. This would save 10,000 lives a year. The changes will apply in England though the devolved nations would, under current arrangements, receive the equivalent in extra funding which they can allocate as they see fit. The announcement by Miliband is designed to improve cancer treatment which has declined over the last four years, according to Labour. The party says that there has been a five-fold increase in the number of patients waiting longer than six weeks for key cancer tests up from 1,856 patients in May 2010 to 10,616 patients in August 2014. Labour has also accused the coalition of cutting spending on cancer services in real terms over the course of the Parliament by £790 million. The median weight from a request by a GP for an abdominal ultrasound to the rest result currently stands at 29 days, up from 23 days in 2012. In addition to saving lives, the proposal is designed to save lives by avoiding costly NHS treatment for patients whose cancer is not identified in time. Miliband, who announced the maximum one-week wait in The Times, said, Labour is setting out the next stage of our NHS plan, a guarantee that no one will have to wait longer than one week for cancer tests and results by 2020. It is critical that we improve early diagnosis of cancer a killer disease that one in three of us will get, so that we can match the best countries in the world for surviving it. This is a plan paid for by money raised from the profits of the tobacco firms whose products have done so much to cause cancer in the first place. Over the weeks and months to come, Labour will set out further details of our NHS plan. We will show that Labour's values, Labour's priorities and Labour's plan can nurture and sustain our health service so it is there for our children and meets the challenges of this century as successfully as it did in the last. The plan will be paid for from a new £2.5 billion time to care fund outlined by Miliband in his speech to the Labour conference last month. The one-week cancer test wait will be funded by a £150 million annual charge on tobacco firms to ensure they do more to pay for tobacco-related illnesses. The £150 million will be spent over five years, giving a total of £750 million. The other elements of the Time to Care Fund are funded by £1.2 billion raised from a new mansion tax on properties worth more than £2 million plus £1.1 billion raised from new tax avoidance measures with a particular focus on hedge funds. Miliband said, Labour has different values on the NHS than this government. We believe in collaboration rather than free market competition, in prevention not picking up the pieces, and accountability rather than undermining patients' rights and guarantees. Labour has different priorities from this government. We would raise taxes on the most expensive homes worth over £2 million in our country, hedge funds which avoid paying their fair share, and the tobacco firms whose products cause so much ill health and suffering. This money will help pay for the investments we will make with our NHS Time to Care Fund.